Hello and welcome. Today I want to create the Gutenberg accordion and uh, we are going to use the one example for the W3 schools and I want to show you the what we sold and that's usually when the users are creating the blocks in the Gutenberg they don't look the same in the front end and in the back end but uh, we resolved that with the script organizer and I'm going to paste I'm going to show you how easily is uh, to create the Gutenberg blocks with the with the script organizer so what I'm going to show you is the even before the alpha so some bugs may occur uh, but uh, bear with me so I'm going to copy the HTML and I'm going to copy the script so I'm going to go to the create uh, element and I'm going to give it a name and the first thing you are noticing is we added the tabs here as well before you could all only uh, write the PHP but uh, the user requested to have the CSS and J JS on the same place so they can once they create the Gutenberg block they can have the HTML structure or the PHP and then to have the styling and the actions uh, under the same roof and uh, I think this is going to be much easier even when you're migrating the blocks from one page from one website to another so once you export it everything is going to be under one uh, JSON export so I'm going to paste it here and I'm not pasting the script uh, here because we are uh, doing the optimization it's this tab is still not ready so I'm going to just wrap it with a script tag and uh, it's going to be in the PHP for now and what I can see here that the accordion isn't, doesn't have any wrap so I'm going to, I'm going to add class AC wrap so it doesn't fall apart Okay, let's just do it like this so it's much nicer to read. Okay, then publish and let's just add an icon so uh, we can um, easily find it. Uh, let's just find some icon. This one can be okay. So we are pasting uh, this without the dash icons part update and let's just uh, paste the style as well so we need to fetch this one paste it here and for this part uh, I want to mention that uh, you can paste here the SCSS or the CSS and if you have multiple uh, Gutenberg elements everything is going to be uh, merged into one CSS file so it's going to be much better for the performance so you don't need to load one CSS per element so let's just go to the accordion page and add our accordion so here it is and you can see the preview it's interactive let's update and re let's reload this page and you can see everything works just perfect uh, also you can see that uh, since we didn't add styling for the typography it's inheriting the theme uh, typography and we actually don't need this part we can just uh, remove it and now you're asking yourself uh, how to actually edit it so if you press here you can see that it's uh, telling you that there is no editable fields but you can also uh, go and create a group so let's do that uh, field group and then we here need the repeater and we need to add the fields the first one will be title and this one is going to be uh, content and this can be text area default value can be a title here so we see something and then uh, let's save changes so if I reload now 
uh, what we can see is a uh, oh, yes sorry the we need to target our accordion so save changes if it reload now and you press edit you are going to see that we can add the title one let's just uh, add some description title two title this can be three and let's add just one more okay perfect update and if we go to the preview we still get the old uh, static so what we actually need to do we need to replace the fields uh, so let's just grab this one I went to the ACF uh, repeater documentation and we are going to do this so we are going to paste this one these uh, slides we will replace with the ACC we don't need this one let's put it here and then this is actually a div that's the wrapper so just replace the wrapper then copy this one into here you can just do this to look a little nicer so we can see what's what and then we need to use this one that's the subfield we are going to replace it here and we are going to replace it here so remove this one and instead of the caption this was the title and this was the content and if we go to the fields repeater title content and uh, we actually don't need this one so you can see how it's uh, even more readable and let's go to the let's go to the preview update uh, yes I think I know what the mistake is so uh, we need we forgot to add this one and if we save changes and it's important because let me show you why yeah we called the ACC so if you now add title one let's just test a row test test preview yeah we can see it everything is working let's just add a little more test three title four perfect and everything works just perfect it's dynamic and uh, yes it looks the same on the front end and on the back end and that's uh, excellent we can actually close this one yeah this is the front end and now it's the styling part we can actually copy this one and have the preview here so it's much easier to kind of track and then let's change the background to something like this then this one needs to be inverted the this one can be like this and then from that we can pick some shade a little lighter and then this one also needs to be light perfect and you can see how easy is just to style it to have the preview then the biggest benefit of this is so let me just uh, reload it and if you go here i can remove the old one and we can uh, duplicate it so your content editor can uh, just start uh, piling blocks 
and if we change something on uh, one place it's going to be uh, replaceable replaced everywhere so you can now see the benefit of actually creating the Gutenberg blocks and uh, to kind of have one source of truth and uh, to be easily scalable for uh, any major website because you will uh, update the style or the structure of the element in one place and it's going to be re replaced everything but the content will stay the same and that's the biggest power of the Gutenberg because you can see how easily you can create the elements and how you can easily maintain them. Okay, now you're asking yourself, can it be done with the Alpine and the Tilewind? Of course it can. So uh, what they found here is uh, Tilewind and Alpine uh, JS example. And let me just uh, clean it up a little. So H1, this one is to go out. This also. And this should be it. So it's a div, and that's right here. And also, let's use just one. Okay, perfect. And let's see. Okay, this one is working. Example, and I'm going to go back to our. A stripped version of the ACF so it's much easier to kind of see and at this point we don't have the prettier but that needs to be edited as well and let's just do it like this so boop and that's it let's paste it yeah and you can see how it's easy to kind of work now so actually this we can do it like this this one is to go inside and then this is what's going to be repeated and then this needs to go inside and then this needs to go inside so this is a wrap this is a wrap and then this is what's going to be uh, repeated and then we just replace the title with the title and then we replace this one with this one and let's see what we got so we can update let's just go here yes that's it Oh, we forgot to add the Alpine. So go here, go to the script manager, and we can check here what version of Alpine they're using. So you can just grab that one, add new, and it's going to be Alpine. And I'm going to register it instead of uh, enqueue because I want to have it only when the accordion is paste or inserted into the page. And we're going to add it to the footer because that's how you adding the Alpine. So uh, from here, we just need to uh, update. I wanted to say save uh, and then Alpine. Uh, and now if we go to the front end, so everything works just perfectly. And you can see, uh, and also, what we can do is we can do a preview here, uh, submit, and then update, and you see the updates right away. Uh, gray, this can be actually white or it can be blue, just for the sake of the example. Now this is needs to be here probably. Uh, it's border. Yeah, that's 
should be a background blue. And this actually don't need to be changed. And background blue, this is for everything. And then here we can have, perfect. So you can see how you can easily manipulate it. Yeah, and it's going to be updated right away. And that's it. Hopefully you can now understand how powerful the script organizer is with the Gutenberg extension and how it's going to kind of help you a lot in your uh, development because uh, this is perfect for uh, client delivery. You can uh, deliver them the entire blocks and they shouldn't change any style. They should just uh, play with the content and they can add multiple blocks on the page and they can have the flexibility but they, on the end you are going to be who is uh, in charge of the how the components are structured and also how the components are styled so thanks you thank you for watching and uh, i'm going to publish this uh, update soon so you can enjoy playing with it as well bye